Hey everybody. First, super stoked at the Man in the High Castle Season 3 trailer. Looks amazing. I cannot wait for the Season 3 to start. Um, but to be perfectly clear here, I was not always a big fan of Man in the High Castle. When I first heard about this show on Amazon Prime, I was like, eh, eh what, what would have been like if Hitler was around, if Hitler, if the Nazis had won World War II? Doesn't look like something I want to watch. Um, probably heard about it two or three times on the radio before I gave it a shot, and then I was hooked. Um, I love alternate history. I, I'm a huge fan of alternate history. Uh, I like Harry Turtledove. I like anything alternate history. And the fact that Philip K. Dick wrote an alt alternate history story is just uh, amazing. Uh, I haven't read the book yet, but it's on my reading list. Um, so I watched season one. Loved it. Watched season two. Loved it. Season two ended, and I was like, oh my god, now what? What's going to happen? You know, oh geez, tell me Amazon renewed it. I went and searched, and immediately found out Amazon renewed it for season three, and I was just like, yes! So that was awesome. And then when I saw the season three trailer, I was like, yes! This looks awesome! I cannot wait for season three to air. Um, I think I binged season two in like a week, so I just zoomed through the whole thing, and then I've so I've had nothing since season two ended. So yeah, I'm really stoked. Um, but I also want to analyze the trailer for everyone. So let's go through it scene by scene, and uh, and let's see what's coming up. All right, so the trailer opens up with what is clearly a probably a flashback sequence of when the Nazis won the war because we have we have Nazi flags up and down buildings down the street uh, it's it's akin to the the uh, the parade in New York when the Allies won World War II but in this case it's Nazis so it's likely a flashback because we know that the Nazis are already occupying most of the entirety you know East Coast and parts of the Midwest of the US so that is clearly a flashback and to go along with that flashback we have, I think her name is Julia, um, talking about having these other memories of another life. This is pretty much a reference to the alternate dimension that we were shown in, I believe, the end of season one is when we first got to see it. Um, so she's, you know, having these, because I, I, she's seen movies, I can't recall if she's been to that, I don't think she's been to that dimension. Um, but she's been told of it. She's seen the movies. So she's seen the movies where the Allies won. So she knows that the and she and she knows that they came from. Um, I can't remember his name. She knows that they came from this alternate dimension because he brought them back and 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 I believe he told her about it. Um, so she knows about all that stuff and she's having these memories somehow. You know, maybe there will be. Maybe he'll take her to the alternate dimension. Um, our dimension um, and then she'll start to have like this crossing you know th that's what this over this voiceover is clearly referencing so after the parade parade scene we then go to um, it's the Golden Gate Bridge and warships coming um, through the bridge um, if I'm not I mean I don't know my history that well uh, you know everything we learn in school has, has to do with uh, what, the parade in New York um, but this is this looks like it's the battleships returning from uh, probably the Pacific Theater, um, and it's you know probably um, old newsreel footage. Uh, the trailer has it colorized; it wouldn't have been in color in the newsreel fo footage. Um, but that's what that looks like. You know, alternatively, it could be that this is from someone's point of view, where they've gone to this other dimension. Um, that wouldn't necessarily make sense though because every time we go to that dimension it's all post it's all the same year it's just that all these uh, every, all the all the recordings are just the, his, the historical record it's like if you went to the library and wanted to view videos of this thing you know you that's what you would do so that's what he's doing it's I think t takes place in like 1960 so you know that's all these these are all newsreel footage so, and it's all black and white um, but that's what this looks like. It's either the alternate dimension that someone's in 
or it's newsreel footage. Then we have Julia smoking a cigarette. I, I presume she's the one that like lit the match, smoking a cigarette. Quick cut to um, I believe it's the Iwo Jima scene uh, when the Americans ho hosted the flag on Iwo Jima. Um, it's like a really quick flash there, and then we cut to um, where we get what is clearly a uh, the Nazi invasion of New York, along with um, one of the characters, the guy who runs. Uh, the antique museum who mentions you know the Nazis are purging American history or the, or the history of this country I can't I, I just passed it um, and that is that's probably not a flashback that's probably they're just starting to do it because they're having all these uprisings everywhere and they need to make sure that no one knows um, you know that, that no one no one remembers anything about America because you know they won so they want everyone to believe and think you know in the future whenever they don't want anybody to know anything about America right and amongst all that we see uh, the Liberty Bell for example getting melted down then we get Julia uh, talking to someone uh, about you know she mentioned you know the man in the high castle um, which I'm not sure if she actually knows that the man in the because this was revealed, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of season one or somewhere in season two, that it's essentially Hitler, and that they're taking these newsreels to Hitler, and he's keeping them secret. He, I, I believe that he himself was, you know, he's shocked, but he wants to keep this hidden, that there is a dimension, our dimension, where the Allies won, and that Germany lost. Axis powers. Um, and so she's telling, she's asking this person about that, and then of course we cut to the scene where you see the photos of um, someone wearing a hat. It looks like it's someone from the um, the the Japanese territory, the Pacific area. Uh, it, it, it's it's someone wearing a a, a wide brimmed hat, um, and then they have what looks like, uh, or at least what they're kind of hinting at in the trailer later on, uh, an atomic explosion kind of thing over over the head and of course during all this you hear Julia's voice uh, in the background uh, kind of narrating saying um, they can be beaten it is possible uh, there's other world there's another world out there where they were beaten uh, and then you see uh, they, they cut to one of the film film reels someone's holding one of the film reels um, it looks like a male hand it doesn't look like Julia's hand and then of course there's a room of people and I believe this is the same room of people that Julia was talking to in the previous scene and there's a film film reel going and they're showing them one of these film reels from our dimension uh, so that they can see look it is possible it doesn't have to be this way uh, oh and I think this is where the music starts to pick up a little bit I love what they've done to all these songs I really like the um, uh, for for the intro sequence when they do the the Edelwe Edelweiss I, I really like how they've done that. I, I love the intro sequence of the show. Um, I don't know if they're going to change it up or not, um, but I just I love I love the way it shows you know all these American monuments and how everything was essentially destroyed at the end of the war. Then you get someone that again this is the room of people watching uh, watching this newsreel. Then you get a shot of New York with all the Nazi symbolism. So this is clearly from their dimension. Then you again see Tagomi asking Julia, what if they find out who you are? Um, clearly a reference to what she's trying to do. She's trying to get all these old, old newsreels, who knows from where, it, you know, they're probably, she's probably trying to get them um, from the Nazis since they had a whole bunch of them. Um, I don't know how, but you know, she's basically saying, what if they find out that you're essentially heading this resistance. Then we cut to a scene of one of the Nazi leaders um, speaking at the end of what looks like the New York parade route to a massive crowd of, well, not Nazis, um, or at least Nazi, symp Nazi sympathizers. Um, I don't think that this would be Hitler because at least historically, and I don't see any reason why a different dimension would be that much different, um, Hitler was always up in his castle. Um, he did not come out. Um, I think maybe he was in a bunker in Berlin is where they found it, is where they found his body, but he was deep underground. So this would not be Hitler. This is probably um, someone that was put in charge 
of overseeing the invasion of the United States uh, mainland. Um, and he's, you know, basically saying, you know, we won, you know, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this is also, again, this appears to be a flashback. It's at the end of the New York parade route. Then they cut to Julia and a few others. They look like they're in an alley of some of somewhere and they're trying to see it looks like they're trying to see over a crowd of people one of the guys in the scene actually appears to be craning his neck a little bit uh, you know there's a crowd of people somewhere probably listening to some speech or something and they're trying to hear that then we see a bunch of kids on either side of a red carpet giving the nazi salute and then the very next cut is to oben oben group and fuhrer john smith um doing the same thing and we all know that he's gained um, a lot of power since the end of season two because amongst a large group of people who um, were ready to take out Hitler or were ready to assume command um, and they were prepared to take out someone of high command, he was the only one um, who said, no way, I'm not going to do it. Um, and he survived an assassination attempt, I believe, in the same scene, somebody was trying to kill him and someone else. Uh, they succeeded in killing the one person, but not in killing him. Um, so he's gained a lot of nor notoriety in the German high command, um, and he's gained a lot of power as well. And then we get lots of quick shots of Julia and um, and people protesting in the streets, holding up that's uh, a big um, a big black. Uh, basically cloth with that symbol on it, that symbol of, again, I, the trailer seems to hint that it's the symbol for an atomic explosion. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a red herring that they're going for or not. I mean, they're kind of equating it, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to go that far or if they're just, you know, doing that for the sake of the trailer. Bunch of quick shots leading to the protesters being clubbed by, uh, I believe those are supposed to be brown coats. Not brown coats, that's serenity. <laughs> Why would I say that? Um, brown shirts, that's what it is. <laughs> so they're being basically beaten um, by Nazi police. And then we get a quick shot of Inspector Keto looking at, when I first saw this trailer, I thought he was looking at like a picture of like the rising sun. Um, but I believe in the very next scene, it cuts to a, a, a newsreel footage of an atomic explosion. Okay, no, that comes later. Um, but yeah, it, it, when I first saw it, it, I thought that he was looking basically at a picture of the rising sun because um, the Japanese flag is a, a rising sun. Um, and I thought, you know, that was a reference to the rising sun. Uh, later on in the trailer, they do, sh I believe, show an atomic explosion. So I just connected that back to that picture. And I, I actually believe now that it's supposed to be a drawing of... The atomic explosion. Sorry, I've been getting her name wrong this whole time. Juliana's voice. <laughs> we hear her her her, her voiceover um, talking about they've created this machine to go to the other uh, dimension, the dimension where the Allies won. She's clearly talking to Tagomi about this machine. You see this because they cut to um, a scene, the next scene where she's. Uh, Tagomi Tagomi responds and says, "Yes, they're planning on." Uh, invading and conquering other worlds with this machine. Um, so what she was saying, she was basically talking to Tsukomi during that, and that's his response. And it almost looks like some uh, Death Star um, footage is in there, you know, like like maybe that's where they got the idea, because you see um, people's hands pushing buttons and moving levers around. So it's almost uh, some like fire the Death Star cannon type of thing. And then you get a shot of four guys standing on a platform looking down um, some kind of metal tunnel, some kind of tunnel that they've created into this bright light. Um, I imagine this is that machine that will let them go to another dimension um, for this invasion. Uh, it, I, th I think that's what they're hinting at is that the the Nazis are planning to invade this alternate dimension where they lost. They're going to try to conquer it um, because they can't handle having, you know, anyone know that they ever, you know, they believe they're the master race, so they're going to conquer this other dimension. Then we get a quick shot of New York 
as it is in our world um, during the same time frame that the show takes place in. Um, although basically by Juliana ask, answering her front door, coming out um, to meet with, I believe that's Joe. Um, he grabs her, pulls her in for a kiss. Then she has, I, 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 I think this is what they're intending, she remembers him being in the newsreel and shooting someone uh, she pull and then she pulls away. It's it's basically she's remembering this from what she saw, um, and she doesn't like the f think you know the f this feeling that he's because she doesn't know that he's a double agent. Um, so she doesn't like this feeling um, that he's not on her side. That he is, um, if not a German so German soldier, then at least working for the Nazis which, you know, we all know that he's a double agent of some kind. Although he was, I believe, placed under arrest at the end of season two. Um, I can't remember what the circumstances were, but it had something to do with the whole, the coup that they were trying to have take place. So maybe he's going to defect and become a good guy. Um, and she's still just thinking about the fact that she saw him in the newsreel, or in this old movie, this alternate dimension movie, where he was a Nazi soldier and killing people. And then more shots of the machine, uh, that's actually interspersed before Julia pulls, pulls away from his kiss, um, followed by, looks like, uh, some shots of an explosion. We can assume this is the rebels um, setting up something in order to, they're basically trying to fight back at this point because they've seen what the other world can be like, uh, I, I will. I would have to assume that this is, you know, after that, because uh, you know, otherwise they be they basically feel like you know they lost the war, they're defeated, they're occupied, that's it. And we get a quick cut to it looks like an American helicopter. Uh, I tried to do some research to see if I could find anything that matched up. Um, I couldn't find anything. It doesn't mean it's not supposed to be one. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not supposed to be some scene where this is, you know, maybe the Nazis have. They've gone over to our dimension and they've seen it and then they decide to send a force in uh, and then that's what this scene's from, you know, just a quick uh, helicopter shot or shot of a helicopter um, as, you know, we get these German vehicles coming from somewhere, you know, who knows how they're going to present that. Quick shot of a dog, Nazi flag, uh, the head German guy speaking to a crowd. I believe it was Juliana and Joe running down an alleyway or somewhere. And then we get the fireworks behind the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is toppling over. That, to, to me, that's basically another flashback of uh, the Nazi invasion of the U.S., which would have taken place before the show even started. Then we get Open Gruber and Fuhrer. Fuhrer, Fuhrer um, ugh, can't say that word. <laughs> uh, John Smith interrogating someone who... Um, it's probably one of the people uh, that was in that meeting room where Juliana was showing them um, the uh, the tape, uh, the, the newsreel, uh, asking this lady, where is the man in the high castle? Then you see a shot of fabric tearing. Um, we know, I mean, you find out later on that they're basically ripping up uh, the Nazi flag and they're reshaping it into a peace symbol. So that's probably part of that. Lots of quick shots of characters. Um, we see Joe, we see can't remember, somebody else, um, we see the flag being put back together, uh, and then we see an atomic explosion in the middle of the desert somewhere. Um, looks like Utah, could be Arizona. Then we see Juliana in some fatigues with some other soldiers um, carrying some machine guns, it looks like. So maybe, then somebody being dragged down a hallway, uh, then we get a more detailed drawing of the uh, a man with the hat on and the uh what's supposed to be uh the explosion the atomic explosion drawn over the man in fact the man looks like he's in uh standing kind of waist up in like a lake of fire or, or something can't really tell much else then we get the flag as it's been put back together into a peace symbol followed quickly by someone uh stapling one of those drawings of uh the sun or an explosion, whatever it's supposed to be, onto a poster board. Then we see Ed standing next to a car, waving to somebody. They cut to Juliana, waving back. Yeah, waving, w waving back at him. Well, 
possibly uh, uh, the assumption is there that you know he's waving and they're cutting to her and she's waving back and the trailer essentially ends with a bunch of protesters um fighting in the streets you know that's how they the trailer closes fight for the world you want um so that's what it appears that season three is going to be about you know it's not you know we just you know, we gotta deal with it or whatever it's we know it can be different we've seen it let's fight for it let's get out there let's cause some trouble let's grow our movement let's let's fight for the world that we want and of course they end the trailer with the hashtag resistance rises and one last thing season four <laughs> is already listed on the IMDb page so we can be pretty rest assured that Amazon has already greenlit season four I'm not sure if they announced that I know that at the time that I finished season two they'd only announced season three um, I'm sure they announced season four at some point as well but um, season four is listed on IMDb so hooray we're gonna get season four all right um, who knows if we'll get any more after that or if they will finish it. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think about season three coming up? You know, what do you think about the trailer? Are you excited? I hope you're as excited as I am because, again, it looks amazing. I cannot wait until October 5th. Um, <laughs> hopefully I won't try to binge the entire thing. Um, but, you know... I, I might. I might try to do it in a few days. I I really like the show a lot, um, but we'll have to see what my uh, what my schedule looks like at work, and things like that. If I'm if I'm super busy, then I'll just get you know I'll get one episode a night, <laughs> and then I'll have to do it until I finish. It. <laughs> but um, I'm not planning on watching anything else. <laughs> Uh, come October 5th, it's gonna be Man in the High Castle, and, that, and that's it. And yeah, if you like this video, hit hit, li hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, do that. Hit the bell to get notified, and we'll see you in the next one.